Hello, hello! It is the Magic Crafter, otherwise known as Mermaid Phantom, Traverse City, Michigan's professional mermaid. I am here today to show you how to make yet another siren craft, or gothic mermaid, or gothic merman craft. We will be making a beautiful, functional, swimmable siren hair clip. This thing is very beautiful looking in the water. It sparkles and glistens really well. It can get stuck in your hair sometimes, so it might be better for on land, but if you are doing photo shoots, this looks really nice for those very special, magical moments. And of course, if you are not a gothic mermaid or merman, and you prefer to keep things light and airy, you can switch up the colors here to make this piece your own. As a matter of fact, I encourage it because all of us mermaids are unique individuals and we should express that however we can. Before we get started with this tutorial, I will tell you now that you will not be learning how to attach your shell to a clip, and you will not be learning how to paint your shell or add these beads in this tutorial. If you would like tutorials for all of those things, please see the description. I have separate tutorials for those steps. Today we will just be learning how to create these cute little dangly thingies that are hanging off of this. Let's move on to the materials list. <laughs> Here is what you'll need to make this waterproof mermaid or siren hair clip. You'll need some glass pearl beads and some various gem beads. These ones are very glittery and dark in color. You will need some black hemp cord. You will need a little bit of wire, nothing too thick but something that is easy to work with. You will need a hair clip just like this one. Last, you'll need a pair of scissors. Once you have everything you need, let's get started. First things first, measure out about mm, two foot, maybe a foot and a half of your hemp cord. You can always cut it later, but more is better than less. Now fold your hemp cord in half by lining up the two ends and pulling like this. We're going to take this loop here, we're going to open up the clamp on your seashell hair clip and stick the loop down at the end of it. Now take your loop, grab the two ends of the string, and you're going to tie the two strings together to make a knot, just like this. Two strings making a loop, and you pull it through. It doesn't have to be perfectly tight. Just like this. Now take your wire, and stick it between the two pieces of your clamp as well, just like this. And you want to fold it in half, doing the same thing you did with the string. What I want you to do here is wrap the two pieces of the metal wire a couple of times around the bottom part of your clip. So we're just going to wrap it a couple of times underneath one side and wrap it a couple of times with the other side. Now what I want you to do is take each piece of your metal wire. We're going to wrap it around this little uh, squeezy part <laughs> of your clip. This is best to do before you add the tool, but I didn't think about that. So you're going to wrap around that piece, pull it tightly, go under your strings, Open up the clip, wrap it, and then wrap it around the lower jaw again. And we're going to do that with the other side as well. So wrap it around the clippy, clampy part of your clip, pull it tight, go between the two clamp pieces, wrap around the lower jaw, and then pull it tight. Now take these two pieces of your wire, fold them to make sort of like a X, not really an X, but just kind of press them down against the bottom jaw of your clip, and then wrap them around each other once, and then once more, like that. Now find your two strings, pull them out straight, and we're going to take one of the pieces of metal, and we're going to wrap it kind of in a messy sort of fashion around the two ends of the string. It doesn't have to be perfect because we will be going over it with the second string. 
Slowly go about an inch down with your wrappings and then turn around and go back. We are just creating a sturdy foundation for your dangly piece on your clip. Once your piece of wire has made it back towards the bottom of your clip, open up the clip again and we're just going to wrap it until it is all the way gone around this bottom piece of your clip. Doesn't need to look fancy or beautiful. And then try to save a little bit of it so we can stick it back over here, kind of wrap it around so it doesn't get stuck in your hair. Take the piece of wire that you have left over and carefully wrap it around the wire base you created with the other piece. See how we have this kind of messy looking bit of wire here that kind of makes us sturdy? We're going to wrap our other wire around it tightly to make it look more fancy. So this will take time. Just do it carefully, do it slowly. Again, it's easier to do it when you're not filming yourself. This is not very easy to do when filming. I cannot see what I'm doing at all. After you've done that, we're going to take our two pieces of hemp cord, and this is where the fun part comes in. We are going to put beads on our hemp cord. I don't like to fill my entire strands of hemp cord with beads. I like to space out my beads and tie knots as I go, which I will show you as I add beads. You'll be watching me create this entire thing. It'll be pretty awesome, but go ahead, take whatever color of beads you would like, do whatever suits your color scheme, and just Go crazy, be unique, and have fun. Once you have one strand of your hemp cord beaded, take the other strand and we're going to put beads on that one, but before you do so, try to look for any gaps you may have in the other strand. I don't have very many beads right over here, and I don't have very many shiny beads right here, so I might consider putting a cluster of beads up closer to the top on this strand, and maybe some shinier beads concentrated in this area on this strand. Just kind of do what you like again but I try to balance my two strands out and have one complement the other. Again, do whatever you like. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this craft tutorial. This is how you make a hair clip. You can wear it, of course, this way, or you can flip it around and wear it this way. It doesn't really matter. It just depends on what you prefer. Also, this piece can be worn in the water or on dry land. It goes cute on the back of a ponytail, and it also looks nice if you attach it to your wig. You can follow my tutorial here to learn how to wear a wig in the water, and you can use this clip, actually, in place of some of the bobby pins in that tutorial. Please do be aware that if you wear this in chlorine, the black may turn brown depending on the strength of the chlorine you are in and the quality of the black dye used to dye your hemp cord. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please share it with your friends and give it a like if you did. That would help this channel tremendously. 
If you are interested in more craft tutorials and waterproof accessories, please click the playlist right up here. I have you mermaids, mermen, and sirens covered.